What is up, everyone? Welcome to the first round of the Portland Monthly Pre-Modern Paper Magic Afternoons March 2024 Tournament. We got a couple of really cool decks to show you, so without further ado, let's get into the deck lists. First up, we have Marshall on Blue-White Tron. Yes, we do have a Tron list today, and it is sweet. We have Blue for the counter spells and, of course, the card draw to help you find those Tron lands and white for some of the best removal in the game as well as some of the best payoffs for having so much mana with four decree of justice there's also a couple of masticores some sky cloud eggs to not only mana fix but draw you cards if you need to and also ramp overall this is just a super cool list and i'm very excited to see how it plays Next up, we have Brandon on Mono White Clerics. This is a interesting take. Usually I think it's Black White Clerics, right? For a few more payoffs with the combo and just a few more options, but this is still a super sweet list for those of you that don't know. The combo involves Shaman and Core, which lets you pay zero to redirect one damage from Shaman and Core to a creature you control, and Daru Spiritualist, which whenever a cleric you control becomes the target of a spell or ability, it gets plus zero, plus two until end of turn. You're able to do that infinitely, and then sack it to something like Starlight Sanctum, which is a land that has pay a white, sacrifice a cleric, you gain life equal to that cleric's stuff. So in theory, you're able to just go infinite, have infinite life, and as long as you're able to either kill your opponent or have them deck out before you, you win the game. Usually opponents will just concede before they get to that point because better to try and interact with the combo uh, in game too. Beyond that, it is a very creature heavy deck. You have Mother Runes. Uh, you're using Armageddon's as well to get uh, hopefully a huge board down early and then wipe all lands so that your creatures can win you the game there are some shared triumphs to buff all clerics because every creature in here is a cleric overall a really cool creature based list with a little bit of combo i'm excited to see if we get to see the combo but just to see how it plays in general all right we have marshall on the left and brandon is going to be on the right rocking those sweet 30th anniversary sleeves as well uh, I really do like that art, having all, I'm pretty sure, of the set symbols, or at least all the uh, older ones for sure. I definitely see a lot that are legal in pre-modern. Looks like he is going to be taking a mulligan, though. Marshall going to be keeping a 7. Maybe he drew natural Tron. You know, the Tron players always have it, right? <laughs> Uh, well, actually, I don't even know if he has a, a single Tron Land, but he's got some white mana, some blue mana, got at least the swords, got some interaction, and that'll be good enough. Looks like he's got an impulse too, so a little bit of card draw. Basically just a really interactive hand for him. And Brandon looks like he's keeping a solid six. And Marshall will be on the play. Flood is strand, go. Okay. Looks like we're getting some new planes art here. Oh, we're just gonna play a uh, tapped. I forget what the actual name of this card is, but it's uh, a counter land. So when you tap it, you get two white mana. Good way to power stuff out early. Um, usually in combo decks, which makes sense for this. And if you don't have a turn one play, also not bad. But Marshall does have a blue mana up now. Ooh, we got a wasteland. All right, make two white. Play out the shadow cleric. Two one protection from red and shadow. All right, Marshall's gonna fetch. I don't know if this is in response or just at end of turn. I imagine he's just going to be impulsing here. Or maybe he does want to swords the uh, the priest right now. But I imagine impulse is probably the right call. Get a little more info and then decide if you need to kill it on your turn. Yep, here we go. Just going to impulse... We've got a couple of cards. Might have seen one of the Tron lands in there, but... Again, I think that's more of a late game for this deck. You need to have colored mana up to things. Oh, there is a uh, Masticore as well, which is interesting. 
It looks like a miscalc and the Masticore and a few other cards are going. Yeah, going back to the bottom. Not actually sure what he took. I think he might have taken Stroke of Genius. All right, go to his turn, draw. There you go, that is definitely a Tron land. But we're gonna play out the Attacar Waste and a little bit more blue mana. Ooh, and we're playing out the bomb. <laughs> now, everyone who watches the channel knows that I'm pretty horrible with card names, but basically this is a board wipe uh, for specific mana values. At the beginning of your upkeep, you can tap it, or you can choose, sorry, to put a counter on it. Uh, and then when you tap and sack it, you destroy everything that has a mana value equal to the number of counters. So it's a very slow board wipe, but if you're facing an aggressive deck where there's lots of, say, two drops, which is <laughs> what Brandon has right now, it's uh, it's not a bad plan. Uh, yep, so it looks like he played out his Anthem naming Clerics, taking three. And that priest becoming a bigger threat now, but notably Marshall decided to not Swords it. I'm assuming he has swords. I thought I saw... Yeah, okay, he does. So yeah, just choosing to not... Not do it. And putting a dice on top of the cards just to remind himself to... Uh, put a counter on that Goblin Bomb or whatever it's called. Hey, and we got our first Tron Land out. <laughs> With a Wasteland out, though, is a little scary. Uh, not gonna lie. But that tower is there and is a potential target. All right, are we just gonna be swinging in for another three here? All right, first off, Wasteland, add a car waste. Potentially just float a blue here, yeah. All right, Marshall's gonna float a blue. And impulsing. So, let's see, what is, I think he's just taking a land here. Makes sense. He doesn't have much in hand, if any. And yeah, I'll just take another three here. Interesting. All right, how about protection from creatures? <laughs> this card makes me wonder if there is a, uh, a Boggles deck in this format. I haven't gone far into brewing it, but... Um, maybe there's something. I mean, Armadillo Cloak is in this format, right? I've always wanted to play with that card. All right, we got a Chromatic Sphere coming out. A little bit of mana fixing. Also a draw engine. All right, Kraken. The bomb. Blow up all the two drops. Brandon may be playing into that a little too much. Oh, but no, we are going to Armageddon. Destroy all lands, which is an interesting call with no creatures on the battlefield. A marshal, I think, just going to do everything he can to draw more lands. And he did draw a tower, but he needs the color fixing. So, you got a frantic search. Which actually, I don't know if I noticed that in his uh, in his list before, but that's a fantastic card for this deck. Getting more value out of it. Gonna ooh prohibit. Is he casting the prohibit? No, he's actually discarding it, and we're just gonna miss Calc. Okay, so he did have the counter spell. Beautiful signed counter spell, by the way. Um, this calculation is a fantastic card, especially in this deck where. You may not always need the counter magic and be able to cycle it to draw, which Marshall does have two of the Tron lands up. Is he going to be able to find another one? How about Stroke of Genius? Just draw uh, two cards. Not bad. Ooh, Wrath of God. That's pretty handy. 
notably doesn't have the mana for it. It's not going to be playing out the uh, Chromatic Sphere either to mana fix for it. All right, Brandon playing out some lands, getting in with a little bit of damage. And we're just going to stroke a genius again for another two. Who was that? Yep. <laughs> uh, Tron unlocked. Power plant, mine, and tower all on the board. Getting in for one. There's a mom. And is there going to be a swords here? Or are we just looking for another planes to get that Wrath of God going? He does have a payoff card. He does have his uh, Decree of Justice in hand. I think he drew another power plant too. All right, we got a... That's not a pain land. Or is it a pain land? I can't remember. <laughs> no, okay, we're gonna Wrath of God here. It must be the... Uh, one that cares if you have a planes. Actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. I think that is a pain land. Just a fifth edition. All right, all the men in the world. What are we doing? Do you have a decree out? It is interesting he didn't play out the sphere to cycle uh, for that white mana. Oh, we got a morph. What's that morph going to be? <laughs> and getting to swing in with it, too. Oh, wait, no, it's a soldier. Sorry, not a morph. It's the uh, the soldier from the, the land. All right, your end step. Let's get a massive decree going. X equal to a lot. Uh, yeah, how about 10? <laughs> X equal to 10. Suddenly 10 one ones on the board versus just a regular 1-1 one because, -one, uh, yeah, that Anthem effect is not pumping it up. Swing in for 10. Block 1. Still 9 guys. And we'll just play out a sphere. And what does Brandon have going on in hand? Can't see too much. It looks like he's got a couple of the combo pieces, but those not doing much. See, that is um, the cleric where you can tap different cleric to prevent two damage, I believe. It does get buffed, so that is noticeably a good thing. How about we just prohibit it though? Clearing the board a little bit. And I think Marshall in a very commanding spot here. Uh, not too much that Brandon is going to be able to do. All right, Cycle of Sphere. Ooh, is that another Decree of Justice? I think, yeah, you just go for it here. Make X equal to a lot, and we're just going to scoop it up. That is going to be game number one. Wow, that was a great showing for the Tron deck. Who knew? Especially in a deck with Armageddon's and Wastelands that Tron could do so much damage. Brand, I think gonna be keeping a little more land hate. I don't know if he would have brought in anything extra, but the combo here is seeming pretty important as his opponent will potentially deck himself if he can get that infinite life combo going. I don't think that's the main goal of this mono white clerics list. But it's definitely an out. It might be the best out if he can't get a quick start. And unfortunately, it looks like he's going to be going to six again. And Marshall keeping a solid seven. Let's see. What do we got going on? Looks like we got some enchantment and artifact hate but not anything worth keeping. 
Yeah, that Armageddon really uh, missing was, I think, the nail in the coffin there for uh, for Brandon. And yeah, I'm not sure exactly the best access to attack this Tron deck because it does have so much removal and so much counter magic that yeah, I think the combo is the way to go here. You're not going to be able to be down with those small creatures fast enough to dodge a Wrath, or at the very least a uh, Decree of Justice that will come in for some potentially profitable blocks. But going to 5 is going to be a bit rough. Alright, looks like we're starting off with the tap land. And immediately into some ramp for, uh, or not ramp. <laughs> Those eggs, I forget, don't actually ramp. They uh, just give you a little bit of color fixing. Which it looks like Marshall has a few of the Tron lands in hand. Maybe just a couple of towers, so that color fixing might prove to be important. Also, getting the card draw off of it is not bad at all either. All right, so Brandon having a very similar start to game one. Shadow creature out, swinging in. Notably, no anthem effect this time. But he does have some creatures and an enlightened tutor. I wonder if he's running seals of cleansing in the sideboard and this is just a way to help tutor for it or if this is just a way to help find his anthem faster to close the game quicker all right we're gonna crack that get some mana fixing and not use it okay we have at least a power plan in hand now And a, oh, no, he's got the full thing. He's got a mine, he's got a power plant, and he's got a tower out on the battlefield. But seeing that Armageddon was definitely a little spooky. I don't know if Brandon has that in hand right now. All right, looks like we're going to just play out a mom. And then one more threat protection from creatures. It is just a 1-1 right now, so it doesn't do too much. And notably, Marshall does not have <laughs> many creatures. I don't think he has any. This deck isn't even running uh, Exalted Dragon. His threats really are just... I guess, no, he has a Mastercore. Sorry, I misspoke. He does have Mastercore. But that is, I believe, the only creature spell in the main. I think he has some meddling mages and stuff on the side, but... Unless he knew or saw the combo pieces for this cleric death, there's no real reason to bring that in. Alright, we are going to swords the shadow creature, though. Play out another egg and pass. Playing out the power plant, too. Oh, and there's a wasteland. <laughs> Just in case you thought you were getting Tron next turn. Oh, you are going to be able to get a next turn because we are tapping out here, but... Uh, Maybe the turn after that you won't have it. And, oh, Marshall does have a Decree of Justice in the hand too, so this is very tempting. Very interesting though that he's not trying to get any of the big 4-4 four, four angels. All right, taken two here. Even if you wanted a Decree for blockers, doesn't make much sense. Uh, they can't <laughs> block those guys anyways. But we are going to get a decree here. And is this a decree for eight? Just for six, okay. Draw for turn. Ooh. Even more gas. I think that's another decree of justice. Oh boy. Uh, yep, got a tower out, even more mana. Let's swing for six. Not blocking with the mom. Oh, 
little bit of discussion here going if uh oh marshall just being a good support letting him know that you could block and uh properly block granted it is always risky with uh a deck running removal <laughs> he could have just talked him into getting swords Let's see, what's going on here? Oh, we are going to counter that. All right, one floating with a misdirection. Or miscalculation, sorry. And then let's decree again. Get another seven guys. And just a flood of soldiers on the board right now. Notably, ooh, here we go. Okay, we got a combo piece out. Marshall having to give that one a read. I don't know if he's played against the cleric combo or even thinks that it could be in this deck. Um, again, it's usually a black-white deck, at least from what I've seen. He has not seen the land or any other combo piece for it, but he does have a swords. Ooh, he also has a stroke of genius. He can draw so many cards this turn. <laughs> All right. We're going to block everything. In response, yep, swords the mom. All right. A little bit risky. You leave the combo piece on there. He does need to have the land and play out the correct um, combo creature. All right, so we're losing three guys. Still taking nine. And pass. All right, a little bit of an anthem effect. That is not nothing. Marshall is at 10, but I think we're just gonna pass here, which makes sense. Stroke of genius for, I don't even know, a lot. <laughs> 10? 11? Something like that. A lot. <laughs> Enough to have every answer you might possibly need. Draw for turn. He did get another decree. I wonder here if you almost wrath here and then... No, because the wasteland's still up and you can still pick apart uh, Tron with that. Alright, seal of cleansing, the anthem effect. Or a uh, disenchant, sorry, the anthem effect. That's that promo art. Super sweet. Use that floating mana. Masticore. <laughs> That's interesting. You can't hit the uh, the guys with protection from creatures with that, right? But you can at least hit the combo piece. Yeah. All right. Take that out. Still a little bit of mana up if he wants it, but no, we're just going to be swinging in for nine. Lose two of them. Drop to three, and Brandon is really hurting now. I'm not exactly sure what's going to go on. Nope, we're just going to call it, and that is going to be game number two. Marshall takes the match down, and that's going to do it for us. Thank you to everyone for watching. This was just round one. I believe there is seven rounds for this month's tournament. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you really like this video and you want to keep supporting the content I'm doing above just liking and sharing and subscribing and all that, there is a Patreon. Link is in the video description. And yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day.